Welcome to Sunshine Art and Drawing. Today I am doing a little bit of a weird haul type challenge. I thought I would challenge myself and maybe you guys can pick up this challenge too to pick up some art supplies from your local thrift store and try and make some art with them. So I've got this little multicolored pencil. Um, I got these art supplies from my mum and she found them in an op shop and an op shop is what we call thrift stores in Australia. So it's essentially just secondhand items that have been donated and um, you usually pay quite a small price. Now for this whole little set in the rubber band, I, my mother paid a dollar. So pretty good deal. Sort of like a, a dollar art supply challenge. And there's um, the multicolored pencil, a set of the little restaurant pencils, a ruler and a magnifying glass. Now on this ruler it says blue light disco, blue light sa .com. Now the blue light disco is something I remember from childhood. I don't even know if they run them anymore. But it was literally discos, and I know that sounds like weird, it's probably not a word that's used very often anymore, but kind of like a like a party or a bit of a kind of a, a club night, but it was made for under 18s, and the whole point was, is it's run by the South Australian police, and the whole point was to have somewhere for kids to go, to have a bit of a party, that they would be safe, and the parents could be sure that they were safe, because it was run by and looked after by the police. So I remember them, they used to run them in school halls or in gymnasiums and things like that and like local kind of community centres. I don't even know if they're run anymore. I probably should look into it. But it was a it was a weird kind of thing. They were seen as a bit a bit corny, a bit sort of like you'd be a bit of a, a goody person if you went to one of these. They went like a cool party to go to. But a lot of parents sent their kids to them because the kids wanted to have a party and they wanted to like have some loud music and be able to dance and have some fun, but not be unsafe in any way and make sure that they're looked after and there are adults there and that sort of thing. Now I'm just testing out these supplies here. So as you can see, there's like the multicolored pencil that's on the left. I'll just bring it up a bit closer and little mini restaurant pencils are on the right. So I decided to do a bit of a little artwork. I wanted to cover the entire page in this pencil just to see what it looks like. And it turned out all different kind of autumn colours. So I thought I'll just make this a lot darker and thicker and then do sort of diagonal lines to make it look like it's a forest, a forest of like trees, like pine trees in autumn. So after I'd done all of that, took a couple of sharpenings to do, I drew like a little person just having a little bit of a picnic just in the middle. I thought it would be a bit fun. I do love autumn colours. They're probably my favourite thing to draw, is things in autumn. And I just thought maybe this would be a bit of a fun challenge, something you guys could try for yourselves. So next time you're at like a, a thrift store, op shop, a bargain store, a $2 shop, something like that, um, have a look around and see if you can find some art supplies that are quite expensive. Art supplies you know that might be quite terrible. But the whole point is to challenge yourself with some new supplies and see what you can make. What you make might not be beautiful, might not be perfect, but the whole point is to try new things. I think it's important to always sort of challenge yourself. Try new and exciting ways to make your own art. I just thought it would be a bit of a fun sort of project to do. Do a bit of sticking and gluing and make something a little bit, I don't know, maybe a little bit cartoony but kind of sweet and autumn colours and, and all that sort of thing. And I just wanted to see what I could do with these supplies. Because it was a bit of a surprise, um, my mum had sort of squirreled these away and showed them to me one time when I visited. I thought it would be kind of like a good challenge. And she said, oh, you can make a video with these. I'm like, totally, let's do it. So I found a frame as well. I just went and cleaned the glass and I used my little new ruler to measure the size of the glass so that I could trim down the artwork to fit inside the frame. It took a couple of goes. Usually when you're framing something, you can just use the piece of glass to measure how big it will be. But for some reason that didn't work um, for this and I had to keep trimming and trimming to get it to fit. However, when I was editing this, I realized I hadn't really used the little pencils. So I thought what I would do is take these and pick out a picture from a coloring in book and try and challenge myself just to use these six colours to try and colour in a picture. And I decided on this um, Sailor Moon kind of image because the colours I had seemed to perfectly match that cartoon. 
with the blues and reds of her uniform and the pinks and yellows of the little sort of things that she has, like the swords and the little wands and things like that. I thought it would turn out really cute. I just spent some time just colouring this one in. So what I'd recommend for this challenge is that you sort of give yourself a price limit. So maybe $1 or $5, just depends on how expensive your thrift stores are in your location. And then try and gather up some art supplies together. Try not to make them match. Don't like look for things that are like, oh, a paint set and some paint brushes and so on and so forth. Try and find weird items. Stuff that doesn't match, stuff that doesn't really go together. Maybe some crayons and some some like weird permanent markers or something weird. And then challenge yourself to make an artwork and see if you can. So I'm challenging anyone who wants to try and do this. Look up some thrifty store kind of items or some really cheap stuff from a bargain store. I know some countries don't really have thrift stores. So definitely you can try and do this at like a dollar store or a bargain store or something like that. And it would be just pretty similar. And it doesn't matter if the art supplies are good quality, because that's not what art's about. It's not about the most who has the most expensive pencils, or who has the most expensive brushes, or, or any of this. It is about doing it. So if you're waiting for the time when you can afford to buy Copics, or if you're waiting for the time when you can have that set of pencils you've got your eye on, or you've got in your wish list on Amazon, if you're waiting for that, you're never going to make any art. The whole point of art is the doing. It's the getting the art supplies out, putting the pencil to paper, and making something. So take this as a challenge from me. Do an artwork today. Doesn't matter what you do, you can email it to me. My emailing details are in the description on my channel. So if you do make an artwork and you want to show it to me, you can email it to me. You can send it to my Twitter. That's also um, on my description in my channel if you ever want to tweet me. And show me what you make. See what you can do. See if you can do better than me. Haha. <laughs> There you go. It's never like about a competition. It's more about just doing doing the work, doing the artwork. That's what these challenges are about. The whole reason why it's called an artwork is because you work at it. You put your heart in it, you put your soul in it, and you, you make something that you like. And it doesn't matter if other people don't like. That's not what art's about. It's not about impressing people. It's not about um, making something that's aesthetically pleasing or pretty. It is literally about putting pen to paper and making an artwork. So get out that pen, get out those papers, get out that colouring in book that you've been hiding away in a shelf and do some artwork today. Have a fun day and if you really want to, send it through. Show me. I'll put my details in the description just in case it's kind of hard for you to access on mobile. And show me, show me what you make. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I really enjoyed challenging myself with these art supplies. And I really would love to see what you guys can make. So have a sunshiny day. Thanks so much for watching.